it's important to just take that extra two seconds, three seconds in a day and just be thankful for the relationship that you do have with somebody because you never know when that relationship could end. My name's Greg, this is my wife, Lindsay. Our daughter, Renly, was born February 12th, 2022, and she passed away February 27th, 2022. She was only with us for 15 days, but she obviously impacted our life forever. We had a pretty normal pregnancy but when Renly was born, she was missing the skin on her fingertips. They weren't bleeding or anything, and I just thought like, oh, my daughter has some birthmarks, like whatever, she's this awesome baby, who cares? Greg noticed she wasn't being a normal baby. She wasn't eating and then falling asleep right away like most newborns. Nurses were kind of checking in on us, but there was no worry at that point. She had her first poop and I changed her and I took some skin off her bum. We were super concerned and we told the nurses and doctors, they came and looked at her and at that point they were communicating with sick kids. Then they took her into the NICU. It was around midnight that an ambulance from sick kids came and picked me and Renly up. There was a nurse at sick kids and she mentioned that this looks like EB. It was a really big shock because it's a pretty rare disease. But we found out that she had junctional EB. It's one of the most severe types. We did learn that it is me and Greg that are carriers. It's my genetics and Greg's genetics coming together. We both have this mutation. It's one in two and a half million that it would be me and Greg together making this combination and having a child with EB. It went from like a blister on her thumb and her ankle to like everywhere in the 15 days. And seeing her in so much pain, it was horrible. We thought she was going to pass away any of these days and she just kept pushing. The last five days, we didn't leave her side. We slept at the hospital with her, and I was just really thankful that we were there. We were there with her, and we were there for her, and we got to be there when she left. Having our son, he's our shining light, really. Losing Renly, but being able to come home to him has changed everything. You just see it differently now, like even if you're having a tough day. I thought that I was going to teach her all these lessons, but in her 15 days and from now on out, like she's teaching me how short life is and Greg lives such a busy life and I think it's helped him slow down a little bit and appreciate some people in his life a bit more. Life is very hard and everybody has different stress. For parents, you want to raise children that make the world a better place. What she's given us is the opportunity to share our story, and if we can provide comfort to other people, then she's given us the ability to make that difference. When we were first coming up with the Ride for Renly, we had no idea how big it would turn out. We ended up selling like 350 tickets. We raised $27,610 to be exact. As you all know, we're here today because of our little girl Renly. She was born seven months ago with a rare disease called epidermolysis bullosa. Special thanks to all the guys around the motorcycle ride. I hope you had a good time. At some point in my life, everybody that's here has made an impact on me. I just want to say thank you to each and every single one of you that, that's here today. When the worst case scenario happens and you lose your child, 
it is so hard to be able to share your story. Even in the most difficult of circumstances, you can be positive, you can have grace, you can have hope, and you can, you can thrive. Despite the past seven months being the most difficult seven months that we've been through as a family. We are the strongest we've ever been. It will be a heartbreaking event that will always be with us, but we're still thriving. 